Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan. It is the night before New York Toy Fair. I'm in my hotel room, the city right outside the window there. I wanted to do this video because, like always, there's all kinds of news already hitting the internet before Toy Fair even starts. What am I even going there for? They're just releasing pictures all over the internet. That's just the way it is, I guess. Um, but I definitely wanted to do this video because even though tomorrow, one of my very first appointments is to meet with Playmates Toys to check out the new stuff, including the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. Well, everything was revealed today on the internet, so I wanted to show it off real quick in case you hadn't seen it yet and give just kind of my initial reactions to it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have a full detailed video on this stuff uh, tomorrow evening. It should be on my YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that because I'm going to get as much footage from the booth as I can. I want to get close-up, hands-on shots, all that good stuff. But... Let's run down this. Let's check out the new toys from the new TMNT cartoon series, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, starting things off, of course, is the basic figure assortment. Uh, of course, we've got all four turtles, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Leonardo uh, in their brand new designs. Uh, I know what you guys all think of the designs. <laughs> the majority uh, seems to be pretty disappointed on these. I'm still very in the middle on them. I don't outright hate them, but I don't love them. I'm still kind of waiting to see the new show. Of course, I want to see how it plays out. However, if you watched my other video when I talked about the reveals, one of the things I said was that I felt like those designs were going to translate into fun toys for kids. And when I see these, that's what I see. I see fun looking toys. These are bright. They're colorful. I feel like the designs did a pretty good job of transferring to action figure form. Um, I'm really anxious to see these in person to see what they look like. Um, but some of the things I noticed about these, first of all, these are just, um, you know, press photos. So I want to see them in person. But scale wise, they don't look like they are the appropriate sizes to one another because uh, all that reveal artwork we saw for the show, Raphael was big. He was huge. He was taller than all the rest of the turtles. And the way he looks in these photos, he's the shortest one in the action figures there. So I'm a little bummed that the scale doesn't match up the way it's supposed to. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's better for you if you guys don't like the fact that Raph is so big. But, you know, to each their own, of course. Um, they all come with translucent weapons. Uh, I think that's going to be a big part of the new show. It looks like they got energy weapons of some sort. I have no idea what that's about yet. Um, and, you know, they just look uh, like good representations of those new designs in action figure form. So, like I said, I'm anxious to see them in person. It looks like they've actually got some ankle articulation, which is pretty new for the turtles. Um, the colors, I'll be anxious to see what the paint apps look like on the final figures. So, time will tell. So, the basic figure assortment includes... And this is the names that they've got on these. I'm going to read this, what it says here. Raphael, the leader. Of course, we know Raph's the leader. Leonardo, the trickster. I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of strange. Donatello, the tech whiz. Michelangelo, the wild card. Splinter, the chill master. What? <laughs> That's okay. And of course, the splinter design is one that I, I feel like I've seen extremes. Um, like some people either really, really love Splinter's new design because it's so different, but a lot of people also really, really hate Splinter's new design. Uh, and the action figure looks just like that new little chubby fat rat Splinter, the chill master apparently. Uh, then we've got April, the street smart best friend, complete with her flaming translucent green bat. And it looks like some kind of little, maybe a mutant cat or something. I'm not sure what that is. That looks really interesting. Uh, then, this is some new stuff, which we hadn't actually seen yet. Uh, this, well, I guess it's called the Origami Ninja Confetti Commandos? Origami Ninja. So, I think these were earlier presented as foot soldiers, but it doesn't appear to actually be a foot soldier. It's called an Origami Ninja. Um, so that's pretty interesting. He's actually kind of a cool design. I kind of like that. I like the mask. I think the mask is pretty cool. Um, and then we get to this guy. Meat Sweats. His name is Meat Sweats. And of all the reveals that we saw of these figures, he is my favorite. He looks like uh, he could actually fit in with the 2012 series. I mean, he looks like a mutant. He's a mutant pig wearing a butcher's costume. What? Meat Sweats. His name is Meat Sweats. That's the best name ever. I don't care what you guys say. I like that one. That one's awesome. 
Um, and then they also list out Baron Draxum, who is the maker of the mutants. He's uh, the new bad guy, I think, the one that's being voiced by John Cena. They don't actually have an individual picture of him on here, but you can see him later on in the playset picture, so we'll get to that. Um, so aside from that, they're also doing the giant figures, which are going to be uh, around 11 inches tall, so they always do that. So again, we got all four turtles there in that deluxe scale, the 11 inch scale. And then we've got vehicles. Um, so we've got these two looking little motorcycle things here. One for Leo and one for Mikey. Uh, those are really interesting there. And they do have the ability to combine together, which is really interesting. Uh, they're called the the Shell Hog is what it is. Leo Shell Hog and Mikey Shell Hog. And then they also have the ability to, it looks like, uh, they might actually combine to the new turtle van, which is called the Turtle Tank. Um, this looks like a fun vehicle. And, you know, with every version of Turtles, we've had a redesigned version of the Turtle Van. Um, and this looks like another fun Turtle Van design. So I, I like this. I think this is pretty cool. And that, my friends, will bring us to the very end, the grand finale, a new gigantic playset, the My Size Sewer Layer playset. It's the biggest Ninja Turtles action figure playset ever, it says, standing 43 inches tall. Um, this is not just a reuse of the same playset we saw with the 2012 Turtles. If you look at it, uh, it's got a completely new uh, sculpt there. And what I kind of like about it is that the sewer looks like it's like different levels. So it almost like doubles as like a shelf for all of your toys, which is really cool for collectors. And uh, then the top portion's got the cardboard on it, the cardboard backdrop, just like the 2012 series. Um, but you know, the, the sewer playsets were always some of the best things out of the 2012 toy line. So I'm glad to see they're continuing the giant playsets thing. There's some really fun stuff going on here. Like there's a Mikey skateboard ramp. There's a basketball hoop if you look in there. And one of my favorite things, it's really hard to see. Um, Lord Draxum is standing in the middle there. And right behind him are two arcade machines and the stickers on both of them are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the arcade game. How cool is that? I hope that's on the final playset because that's a neat little touch. Also worth noting there's some kind of like red fire looking ninja up there too that they didn't list at all so I'm not sure who that is. But there you go! That looks like uh, what Playmates is going to be showing off at New York Toy Fair tomorrow so of course let me know what you guys think. Um, I think they look fun for what they are. But like I said, this is kind of what I was expecting, what I was anticipating. Uh, it's a new Turtles for a new generation. So that it is what it is. Uh, I'm definitely anxious to see these in person tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to get close-up shots of all of these. I'm going to talk to the folks at Playmates. So stay tuned right here to the Pixel Dan channel. If you guys want to see this full press release with all these pictures, I'm going to link you to the article over at Toy News International, uh, which is where I grabbed all of these pictures from for this video. So stay tuned, guys. Toy Fair coverage coming up quick. Until next time, my friends. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at Toy Fair. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter or forward slash Pixel Dan on YouTube.com. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys, Pixel Dan. See you again.